Okay, before I start the video um, of me taking this uh, injection pump out, I just wanted to uh, give you a heads up on some tools that I didn't have, and I have an extensive tool collection, but um, some of the tools that you're going to need is a wrench like that that uh, you're going to have to make. It's got a, uh, I had to heat it up with a torch and bend a 9 16th wrench like this so that I can get to these bolts that go through here that mounts the injection pump uh, onto the timing gear. Uh, so, and it allows you to get down here to the lower bolt and turn the nuts. So, this was uh, a wrench that I had to make. And I made another one too that I also used, and I bent it more in the middle. So using the combination of these two wrenches is what it took to uh, turn those nuts on the mount to uh, to get the uh, eject ejection pump uh, injection pump uh, undone there. And another problem I had was uh, with these bolts right here that mounts the, uh, the injection pump actually to the timing gear. And it took an eight millimeter socket, 12 point. And so I had to look all over the place to find one. I went to three different places and uh, finally found this one at Home Depot. I went to Harbor Freight, I went to O'Reilly's, and then I went to Home Depot and finally found one. So you're gonna need an eight millimeter uh, socket and, uh, and it has to be 12 point to take these bolts off right here that connects the injection pump to the timing gear. So anyway I thought I'd just do a little short in introduction before I show you the video how I took it out so that you if you have to do this that you make sure that you get these tools that you're definitely going to need otherwise you're not going to get it out of there. Today I'm going to start um, taking off this injection pump. I've got a, a rebuilt injection pump order and it's on its way so uh, I'm going to document uh, me taking it out and, and putting the, the rebuilt one back in and uh, we'll just see how it goes and hopefully it'll solve the problem I've been having with it. Uh, this truck's got 265,000 miles on it and uh, it's getting to where it's difficult to start especially when it's warm so uh, everything I've been reading on the forums uh, they say that is the likely culprit so okay uh, the first thing I gotta do is I uh, going to take off the uh, the uh, throttle uh, linkage off of the injection pump and uh, then I'm going to mark all of the uh, electrical connections so that I can put them back on the uh, rebuilt pump right so I don't get them crossed up or make a mistake when I make the electrical con connection so that's uh, what I'm going to do next take off that throttle linkage and and then mark the uh, electrical connections and disconnect them. Okay, just got the um, throttle linkage uh, disconnected from the uh, injection pump, and it just uh, just clips on there on this ball uh, joint right here, uh, and you just take a screwdriver and pop it off. So next I'm going to uh, take off these two bolts so I can get uh, this throttle linkage completely out of the way. Okay, I've got the uh, fuel throttle linkage out of the way and uh, there's a fuel throttle uh, linkage uh, mount right here and these just take uh, half in a half inch socket to get off and I just put them back in the threaded holes uh, so I don't lose them and next I'm going to take off all of these injection 
lines and I'm going to try and loosen up the injection pump and uh, pull, it, uh, pull it off there with the injection lines uh, connected to the uh, injection pump so we'll see how that goes so I'm going to start loosening them up and these take a, a 5 8 wrench so I'm going to start doing that now okay now I'm going to take this this is the fast idle solenoid now I'm going to take that and unbolt it off the side of the injection pump and get it out of my way so it's easier to get to the bolts that mount the uh, injection pump onto the timing gear so there's some I don't think I can get a view of it some bolts on the side of it there that mounts it so I'm going to take those off and uh, get that out of my way right now okay I got the uh, fast idle solenoid out of there and uh, it's just two bolts that hold it and uh, if you're curious it takes a 3 8 socket to get them out so I got that up out of my way Let's see show you what it looks like with it out of the way I'll get a shot of it right here that's where it mounts right there so anyway got that out of the way now I'm going to continue on I think the next thing I'm going to do is uh, take this front plate off right here I'm going to get this front plate off right there you can see it. it's kind of dark these two bolts right here and take this front plate off and that'll give me access to the bolts that mount the injection injection uh, pump on the uh, timing gear so I'm gonna do that next okay, he's got the, um, the front plate off it takes a half inch socket to get the two bolts off then you have to kind of pry the plate off because the, the plate is uh, has a sealant on it probably silicone uh, that sealed it so it was pretty it was stuck on there pretty good so I had to pry it off the screwdriver. This is what the plate looks like. Get that off. So you can see the three mounting bolts down there on the injection pump. I'm going to clean that all up because I'm going to have to mark it so that I don't uh, mess up the timing when I put the uh, the rebuilt pump in. So we'll see uh, how that goes. I'll clean it all up and put some marks on that before I start trying to take off the mounting bolts. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do this uh, when I was taking the pump out, but I didn't show you why you need this special wrench and show you the nuts uh, that need to be turned with the special wrench. This is the back side of the timing case where the injection uh, pump mounts and you're going to need this special wrench for these uh, nuts down here because without you're not going to be able to get them turned down on these lower ones here the top ones no problem but these lower ones you're definitely going to need uh, this special wrench so anyway i just thought i'd do a little short video showing you why you need that wrench okay i got the uh the grease cleaned off and I put some marks with a permanent marker down there so that I can try to put the uh, rebuilt pump back in and not disturb the uh, the timing so we'll see how it goes next I'm going to start trying to unbolt the uh, injection pump from the mounts and hopefully I can get it pulled out of there we'll see what happens Yeah, I'm back at it again. Um, got uh, kind of stumped because I didn't have a 12.8 millimeter, which 
that's what it takes to get these uh, these bolts off here and uh, once I get those off so I had to go find a 12.8 millimeter socket which was not an easy task no one went to three different places and finally found one at Home Depot so uh, anyway once I get those bolts off the injection pump should come right out of there so we'll see what happens here okay I got everything loosened up and uh, the fuel lines the fuel injector lines are all disconnected got all the mounting bolts loose and now I'm going to see if this thing will slip out of here let's see what happens Almost. Okay, let's see what happens now. I had to take these uh, these clamps off in these areas here, and we'll see if the the lines will bend enough for me to get that thing out of there. truck it's out of the truck and on the ground it took a little while but finally got it out of there and now all I have to do is wait uh, for the uh, the new one to come in it probably won't be until the end of next week so at least I got it out of there and it's uh, and we'll do uh, the next part and that's putting it back in. We'll see how that goes.